Well, there's a cloud over marijuana stocks right now. Canopy Growth, Tilray, and Kronos all reporting disappointing earnings. Is the cannabis craze over? Well, joining us now via Skype from Dallas, Texas, is Matt Hawkins, CEO of Entourage Effect Capital. Matt, thank you so much for joining us. Good morning. Thanks for having me. I want to start here with some of the companies that EEC has invested in. And also, I want to go into your thoughts about what you think about the overall industry at this point. It's just these stocks have been massively underperforming this year after seeing serious gains last year. Uh, you're absolutely right. There's there's a number of reasons for this. Uh, it's the on the on the U.S. side with the multi-state operators, there's been a uh, lack of conversion from the illicit market into the legalized market, and that was factored into their projections. And so now that they're not, those aren't being met, uh, that's a primary reason. And the biggest driver for that is the lack of regulatory guidance from the United States, and also at a state level. You've got a state like California that is uh, crippling the legalized uh, industry with with taxation, and and while. The taxes can be great revenue drivers for the for the legalized states. They also have to be very sensitive to the fact that uh, uh, you know putting too much of a of a clamp on the companies uh, further uh, boosts the 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 ability of the illicit market to to continue to have their grasp on the market share. Hey, Matt, Brian Chung here. So uh, when we talk about the cannabis companies in Canada, at least uh, it's been over a year now since they've legalized it. Uh, nationwide. So I'm wondering that as you're looking at the uh, earnings from some of these cannabis companies, what are you looking for in terms of, you know, this entirely new industry, which really has only legally existed yeah. in Canada for a year? Are you willing to see higher expenses because they're trying to build out the capacity? Or are you looking more closely on the top line to see what the demand for cannabis products are? Yeah, good question. We're, you know, we are private investors. We're not public investors. We've had several exits to the public marketplace uh, through either the reverse takeovers or just straight acquisitions by some of the uh, the LPs or the MSOs. On the Canadian side, uh, you've got a, um, a country that was, you know, obviously that in its entire population is less than California. So we're focused more on the United States legalized landscape. But you've got companies like Aurora and um, even Tilray to that matter and, and Canopy um, and those companies are, ba you know, their business model was was based on um, having an export model to other countries, and now their 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 cost structure just isn't isn't competitive with some other countries that will be coming online soon. And there's a supply glut, so I think the United States has an easier problem to fix because regulation will come into play, uh, and. Uh, states will also be smart enough to realize that they can't overtax these these companies because uh, we don't even realize how big the black market is in the United States. It's it's uh, you know we've probably I'm guessing converted 10 to 20 percent of it thus far. So the past six months, as we've been saying, has been really hard for cannabis stocks. Canopy growth, which you just mentioned, they lost $10 billion in market value over the past six months. But a big reason for that is also because of the supply issues that they're having. So the regulatory agency in Canada has such a backlog that it's hard to bring products to market. So how do you think a company like Canopy Growth gets over that hurdle? It's going to be hard. Uh, Canopy is a, is, a, is a different animal uh, than some of the other LPs in Canada because they do have their pending agreement with Acreage Holdings, and that would give them a U.S. footprint uh, once uh, legality in the United States is either, whether it becomes quasi-legal or, or federally legal. I think with the passage of the Safe Banking Act or, or a states, the States Act, you may see uh, that merger actually closed because I think at that point the New York Stock Exchange or the NASDAQ might start allowing uh, plant touching companies to be listed if it becomes quasi quasi legal in some form or fashion in the United States. Well, Matt Hawkins, CEO of Entourage Effect Capital, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Hey, investors, Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well, then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up-to-the-minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance, and information on how to manage your money every day, wherever you are.